we missed, missed a whole bunch of time. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't think we can keep this. We can't cast anything. We haven't got all of our colors. I mulliganed a similar hand the last time. Fine. This is okay. Um, yeah, we were playing Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah. Which we are currently unable to record, but I plan to be able to do that in the future. Mm-hmm. The laptop is not being cooperative. No. Nor are the animatronics. <laughs> so, Ashton, what did you think of the Five Nights at Freddy's? I nearly shot myself. Yeah, pretty spooky. Spooky game. What do you think? Here, interesting question that I ask a lot of people. Uh-huh. What do you think is scarier, Five Nights at Freddy's or PT? Um, I know they're kind of different kinds of fear. I felt more afraid playing Five Nights at Freddy's there than really? I PT. Yeah. Ooh, tag him scheming. So he mulligan six. So he's also terrible. He must have let his girlfriend draft for him too. <laughs> well, that's, I, that's sexist. Well, he must have let someone who doesn't know how to play draft for him There too. you go. Um, I don't understand how people can say Five Nights is scarier than PT. I, I just think... it's stre- Five Nights is stressful. Yeah. PT isn't really stressful. Sign of Glacier. Also not a good card. Sign of Glacier is pretty good. That's a good card. A good, what do you keep? Maybe just lands? Lands could be. It must be lands at this Sign point. Sign is a good card. I surely you want to draw your lands and then these. <laughs> Maybe. You know? I don't know what he's thinking. Look at Sign of Glacier. It's a good card. Ah, it's double blue. It's high. Ah, it's kind of better now. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, we couldn't have cast a turn anyway. So, game? What, you think it's over that quickly? Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, I don't get it. Um... The other argument is this, but this will try no, to yeah, drop. Yeah. Um, it's better now because the format's a little more conducive to two-color decks. Mm. But back in cans, it wasn't very good at all, I don't think. Well, how bad is a format at 2-5, really? Not good. I think it's fine. Like, had you, like, did you play a 5 mana 2-8? Because that was called Riding Mastodon. I did, occasionally. Nah, nah. I played it in the Abzan Big Butts deck. Nah. Okay, you're good. Sound. Attack, make him discard. And then Gentry Warden and Skull Hunter. yeah. Or scared if we really want. I, I think, think it's, it's probably, probably better. Yeah, we don't know what we're looking for with this. Really, I guess an angler would be pretty good. Mm. There's no way he's gonna do that. Yeah, that would be ridiculous. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you really think? Why is? What, explain your rationale for Five Nights being scary. Um. Okay. So the biggest problem for horror games with me, like I can do zombie shooters. Well, yeah. Cause you're I can armed. do, I can do fear. I can do left for dead. I can mm-hmm. do that kind of stuff. I can't do games where I feel helpless. Well, that's what, well, that's the keystone of horror. But the more helpless I feel, the worse it is. Sure. And I felt more helpless playing five nights. You literally can't do anything. Yeah. Whereas at least in, in PT, I can move. Yeah, sure. All right. We'll attack with both two ones. Scout and try to hit something we can do? Yeah. Scout and try to hit treasure coos. We can't hit treasure coos with scout. Oh, sure. Can we cast the angler if we hit that? Uh, it's seven, isn't it? No, we couldn't. Well, there would be five, five cards there. in the bin. We'd have one mana, so no. No, not this turn, but next turn for sure. If he traded there, we could have. Keep the swamp up. Just that doesn't matter. What are we representing? Well, I was thinking about the angler, but we can't cast it, so it doesn't actually matter. Mm. Just play this game. Okay. Huh. So we get a land. Mm-hmm. I guess we get a forest. Yeah. Well, that sucks. Yeah, got some other cards I would like to cast in there. Mm. That's that was a bad flip. Yep. Happens sometimes. With scout doesn't really happen with bitter rev. No, Bitter Revelation, you usually get something. And if you didn't get something, you would have lost the game had you not cast Bitter Rev. Because yeah. you weren't drawing anything good for four turns. Yeah. Uh, we take four here. Yeah, I, th- I, know, I think PT is much scarier than Five Nights at Freddy's. Why, what's your rationale for that one? P- well, PT has this... Uh, they're both pretty... You're pretty helpless in both games, to be honest. What's this? Snowhorn Rider? That's pretty ooh, cool. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We can bell strike that. And in fact, that is what we do, I assume. Mm, and play this all time, sir. And bash. Hmm. Which is not bad. It's a decent turn. You get him for five, he goes to eight. Um, my rationale for that is that I think PT is, has this sense of dread and unknown. Just about everything in Freddy's is a known quantity. Mm-hmm. There's Foxy, which is not really a known quantity, but the rest of the stuff is. Um, it's like, these are the animatronics, they're coming closer, they're coming closer, they're coming closer. Whereas PT, you never know what's going to be around the corner because there's no rules in PT. There's no rules to what happened. Hmm. And the game is very well designed that it has this built-in moment of suspense every time you go through the loop. Because there's a corner to turn. 
So there's always a, what's going to be around the fucking corner? Mm. Nothing. Never anything. Just about never anything. Mm. Whereas Fun After Freddy's is very static and it's very well defined. Like, look, if you do these things, you'll be okay. And PT is... There's a thing I noticed in PT where the... I won't spoil it for people who... It's actually spoiled. uh, But the the jump scare that happens. Mm -hmm. You know, the big jump scare. Yep. Oh, good. That happens just before the corner. Oh, no, it's pretty randomized. Because to me, it happened just before the corner. And like you said, you, you feel this sense of mm-hmm. going around the corner. Just the two bar guys. Yeah. But when it when it messes with you like that, when you're expecting something bad to happen at the corner, mm-hmm. I find that very scary. Shall I leave the man up for the regen? Uh, that's probably correct. We have enough to... Yeah, we got plenty anyway, of so. bin. Um, what the, what what it actually does the game actually does is at that point it spawns the ghost I mm-hmm. believe and then you can just you can run into her you need to delve into one more yeah you can run into her from that point onwards like you okay. can get, if you move quickly you can get to the game without ever, ever having that happen to you really yeah totally interesting I'm excited for the full Silent Hills I, lo- I used to hate horror games and horror movies I was like why would I ever do that to myself How yeah, yeah, yeah. When, and then I played Amnesia and I got really into it Sure, we can. We don't care about that. Can that forever, or we can trade it for a salt emissary, chump. I just took to ward, took the warden on as well. Mm. It does, however, shut down our shambling tenants from attacking. I think it's still attacking. Oh, good. Well, yeah, that's actually not bad. But like in a racing situation, you can go boom, boom. Actually, no, we need that back to block the. It's no horn. Yeah, so just the game. He's out of cards. So are we. One to four. That's risky. That's low. I mean, there's nothing we have in these colors that can kill him. There is. There's, um... Carry Bloodsucker. Sure. No, because we only have two things that are big enough to drain. You could carry Bloodsucker. Wait, does... Carry Bloodsucker... Drains two. Drains two. Only if it has o- only, if, only if a creature dies of power four or greater. Yeah. So... We have none of them. In that. theory... Or toughness four or greater, I beg your pardon. Are you sure it's toughness? Yeah. Okay. This is bad. This is real bad. Like, we're both top deck and nothing, but he's got a flyer. Mm-hmm. And we can't even trade for that flyer with our exchange bullshit because he's got a monster flock. Mm-hmm. We trade for the Snowhorn Rider, I guess. I don't know if it's not, I must I guess you drew gas, but I think it's probably smarter to just untap that Snowhorn Rider. Uh, well, there's no point because we just traded off for the 3-5. Do that, and then he has good attacks with some other stuff. And eyes and it kind of doesn't really. Get to see what the morph is. I was just thinking about that because I was like, oh no, boo boo. Mm-hmm. Stupid Dennis tricks are for kids. Okay. Show me your wares. What you got? Snowhorn huh. Rider Mark II. The reason I played that is because now we can technically generate this twice and we're not fooling anybody mm-hmm. <laughs> at this point, you know? Agreed, agreed. But generating it twice doesn't really do anything because if it, it... It taps, yeah. Yeah. If he untaps one and then flips the other one on his turn, I think we just die. Or either the other end, either or. I believe you're right. Yeah, well, you are right, yeah. Hang on. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, no, we don't. I think we do. Yeah, you're all right. Well, we're certainly not winning this game anyway. That was grim. Mm. Although kind of close. Yeah, it's a decent match of magic at the very least. Have we won a game yet? Have we won a game? The one we mulliganed to four, we lost that, didn't we? We did lose that game. We, so lost we have not won a game. game. No. But I think we won a round the last time Grace drafted for us. Do we have the heroes lit again? Uh, yeah, I cut the Will of the Naga because it's our worst stealth spell and we have good ones. Fair, fair. That was our uh, first pick. The Will of the Naga. Mm. Yeah. Would we like to play first? Probably. Probably. I guess. Sure. Yep. Actually, not the worst. Not great. <laughs> not good, but it's like... Because I kind of want to land and a creature with this. Well, you want a swamp, like? Yeah. Or the, I mean, she picked a d- Dismal Water and a j- Jungle Hall. I was pretty mm. impressed with that. That sounds condescending, but she doesn't know how to play the game. Yeah, yeah. Her reasoning for picking them was a little off. <laughs> that they were... <laughs> things to put, stu- things to put things stuff to on. Yeah. yeah, you fixed it to them. Are you making that noise? Am I making what noise? 
A slight swooshing noise. A slight what noise? Swooshing noise. So, Dennis, you're being very paranoid, you know that? Uh, swing with the Highland Cane. No, we, yeah, we do that, but then we just play Heroes Blade next turn to equip, and then we start smashing them with this. <laughs> yeah, but still attack with the Highland Cane. Oh, yeah, Cane. sure, sure, but... What do you mean, no? That swooshing noise. What swooshing noise? Move your foot. It is you. You're making a swooshing noise, you asshole. <laughs> I fucking knew it. You're such a strange man. Oh, what a weird thing to complain about. Because I thought, I'm not complaining, I thought it was me. You thought you were making and a then I, And then noise. I was like, well, I'm going insane. <laughs> that was the next logical step. Oshin said no, so. So obviously I'm mad. Descending into complete madness. What do you think of playing uh, Ice Feather Ravens on turn two? I don't, think, I don't think it's done as often as it should be. Yeah? Like, here, Oshin, will you play two mana, two, two flower? Yeah, yeah. great card. You don't have to do the whole farting around. If you've got other stuff to do on turn three and four and stuff, yeah. just play it. Start beating. If you've got an aggressive deck, you've got some tempo plays, just get it in there. Yeah, but Wait. it is itself a tempo play as well. Sure, but it takes up a lot of your mana and stuff. Yeah, yeah. He can't trade that after he has laid it up. Nope. And we win that race. It will be a 5-3. It's a pretty powerful card here, isn't it? It's expensive. Yeah, no, I, I, all, all, most equipment, if it's even marginally playable, is very good. Mm -hmm. I don't think this is very good. I think this is marginally playable. <laughs> But equipment as a, as a mechanic is just very powerful. Yeah. That's why they've stopped putting good equipment in sets. Like Pretty much. Remember Moon Silver Spear? Yeah. Yeah. A yeah, hell of a card. That was a good card. That was one of my first rares. My first rare was a Psychosis Crawler. That was a Jace Memory Adept. Fuck you. Tigam Scheming again? That is just still unplayable, right? Yes. I don't think there's any deck where you want a Tigam Scheming. It's better than Index, but Index is super, super terrible. So. Yeah. I mean, he kind of has to chump here, almost. In a way, doesn't he? I Actually, I had a deck list put together. I never built the deck. Which included Tigum Scheming. Taking the lands off the top. Wait, a constructed deck list? A constructed deck list that included Tigum Scheming. Literally because it was Jeskai Ascendancy combo. And you sometimes you just needed pieces. Mm -hmm. And the deck was playing Dig Through Times as well. And Cruises? I don't remember. I think I might have had one Cruise, but I played before it four Dig Through Times. Uh, Some backwater skull can put this on the skull can kill him. Uh, I would. Is that what you want to do? Yeah, well, that's his reason. Swing first. He doesn't know any of that. Yeah. Because if that happens, that put this makes this a two turn clock, doesn't it? No, it doesn't quite. Mm, if he. No, no it he, does. Well, he has a two two to block with. Sure. Gain a little bit of life. Totally mm. relevant. Could be. I think Hero's Blade was a good include. Yeah, I don't know why we didn't start that. I you because I usually brush it off because my deck tends to have better things to do. This one just doesn't. Yeah, I still think Heroes Blade is a good like. I'm saying that I'm I'm doing air quotes right now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He it, is. It, I can I can attest to that. Yeah, uh, curve topper mm -hmm. in some decks, especially decks with cheap flyers. What do our opponent just do? Morphed. Morphed. And Jessica Sage. So that's awkward, but that's what this is for. Yeah. Attack with this. Oh, I don't, don't know about that now. <laughs> so no blocks. No. It's probably a Slonghorn Rider. We saw two, so. Mm. So, play a land. Equip the thing. Bash, there you go. Yeah. And then he has to leave back the Ice Feather Raven. And if we draw Shifting Loyalties, we can win. Correct. Or no, because it's probably... Bell Strike. That works. This is probably be dead by then, though, so. Salt that Charm does not work. Nope. He's like, huh. <laughs> like but, this is what I mean like you, you play a few cheap flyers and heroes blade mm -hmm. it does cost four to equip which is a meaty equip cost yeah but it's like okay so if you had an aura that was four to play three plus three plus two you what do you block here attack the manifest the morph and the sage the manifest right we block the manifester because that's a snowhorn rider well this could also take a snowhorn rider this is true He's looking up Snowhorn Rider. I think we're in good shape. Canyon Lurkers. Similar. We should block that now. Yeah, well. Oof. We're on seven. We might, play, we might have to attack and then play the Crotic. That would be Ox. Well, I mean, we just stick the thing on the Trampler like then at that stage. Yeah. It's also, it's also a super solid blocker. What's he got now? Another Morph. Okay. We have to block this, so. Perfect. Heat Summer Tenders is perfect. So we go scout the borders, Heat Summer Tenders. Don't play land. Why not? We're about to scout the borders. So? So we might draw different lands, we might draw life gain land. Sure. You know what would be the best off that? What? Shambling into, um, 
Gurmai Angler. Gurmai Angler. Because we can cast that, can't we? Yeah. Of course. Seems reasonable. Okay. Gurmai Angler off the top. So can we survive this turn is the question. Uh, take the... Doesn't matter. Spoke Tatter, I guess. Yeah. Can't cast it, but still. And then the heat server tamers. And we, and we must block this. Yep. And then if that is a... It's not a matter, we still live. Do we? Mm -hmm. Unless he has a non-creature spell. <laughs> we could theoretically block the morph, but then if it's a snowhorn rider, we die. Yeah, there's no reason to do that. Um, he Also, he died to a non-creature spell that way as well. Mm -hmm. Alright, we gotta block this and see what happens. Yep. His non-creature spell... Like, it's unlikely that it would... His non-creature spell would have to cast one. Yeah. Which, I don't think... Or if this is a Woolly Locks, don't we also lose? Yes. But, you know, playing the game. Otherwise we win, though. Unless he has a removal spell for our Skullkin or something. Yeah. Snowhorn? Oh. oh. I think he just overtapped. Collateral. Collateral damage. Kill us with collateral damage. Do it. So we win? Because you tapped out. Hooray! We won a game! Woo! We won a game! Be more excited. We're winning a game in the finals. That's what... <laughs> the finals. The final round, Dennis. All right, all right, Final all right. round. Fight! Fight! Um, yeah, I'm fucking running back. It worked well last time. Let's do it again. Pretty good on the Kintry Warden, too, actually, the Heroes Blade. yeah. Like I say, cheap creatures with some form of evasion, you mulligan the hand, and you, uh... Lose the game and cry yourself to sleep at night? Lose the game and cry yourself to sleep at night, and the, uh... The, 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 I think we might have to keep that one. Yeah. 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 This is Work such a it. good card. Alright. I'm a game. This is so good. I you, love this card so much. You missed the cue, Dennis. Make it... Better? No. Work, work it, it make, harder, work make it, it better, do it faster, it makes us stronger more than ever. Hour after hour, this video is getting removed for copyright so... violations. First, first, off the top. It's not first. <laughs> That's like the straight opposite of a first. Like, what do you think of that card overall? Do you think it's good? I don't think it's good at all. I don't think. Like, I, I think a six mana spell that requires your opponent to have better cards than you, and can be. Utterly blown out by any form of instant speed removal is not something I want in my deck. I guess that's reasonable. Channel Harm does that too, though. Channel Harm doesn't require my opponent to have better cards than me. Doesn't require me to have a creature. Oh god. And if they want to use instant, oh god, if they want to use instant speed removal, and it has to be instant speed removal on their own creature. I think this is all she wrote, buddy. Yeah, you're probably right. We have to bitter rev next turn, so we'll mm. go to. We're taking 5 here, going to 12, we'll go to 10. If this thing has any power more than 5, we die. It can't, really. It could be an Alpine Grizzly. Pretty close. Alpine Grizzly Alpine plus, Grizzly plus, plus prowess. prowess trigger will yeah. kill us. However, the following turn, we do get to go smoked our parapet into huge stone retainers. In theory. And I think we might be able to survive at that point, depending on what he does, but it's not very, it's not good. If that's a, it's not a red or a bad shape. We have to bitter rev. Yep. That's our only option. I mean, we need to take a forest. That's what we can just play this. Death Frenzy. No. Nope. Uh, it's no forest, so we take uh, Swamp Shambling. Yeah, I think so. But what does Shambling do? Does Shambling do anything? There's more than those two when we don't yeah. have green mana. Alright, we can't cast both next turn. So. Well, we can play... Emissary? Emissary Hewdstone. Yeah, that's the plan. But if that is a guy, we do die now. If it's a snowhorn rider. Yeah, and he is on top line, we do just die. I I find it very likely we're dead here. I think so too. And we just killed us on turn five, which is pretty friggin' aggressive. Mm. Well, we helped. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think that's it. Oh, that works too. That's all she wrote. Oh, three. But we won a game. So. We won one game. Moral okay, victory. well, you know. You know. What do, you, what do you expect? We can say that that was actually a Patreon goal. That was a Patreon goal. We forgot to read our Patreon people at the start. Oh, uh, that's something we're supposed to do, isn't we'll it? We'll do it next week. We'll do we'll it next, do week. It next I week. I just forgot. Damn it. Anyway, if you want to support us on Patreon, you can. I don't know why this video would compel you to do that. Yeah. But <laughs> if you want more crap like this... Usually we're a little cheerier. 
Yeah, I'm not well. Oh, I'm she's not well already. Dennis, uh, I'm being dragged. Dennis is just a miserable bastard all of the time. It's pretty much 100% accurate. Yeah. Um, I've been Dennis. You've been Ushin. Thanks mm-hmm. for watching. Next time, back to our regular scheduled programming. <laughs> and we'll see you soon.